I am going to show you padded satin. After completing the satin stitch, the center I am going to show you padded satin. For padded satin, first we start with satin stitch. normal satin stitch fill the After completing the center with satin stitch, just make satin stitch on top of that in the opposite direction. Since it is made on top of already made uh, satin stitch, it gives a padded effect. Not necessarily it has to be done on uh, in the center of a flower or petal or anything. It can be done even on the petals or any leaf or for the matter any pattern we can do. But first for padded satin, first do a base stitch of a satin stitch and then the next layer of satin stitch is made on top of the base stitch which gives a padded effect. That is why it is called padded satin. See you can see this is the normal satin and this has a padded effect, the center it has a puffed effect this is called padded satin. Now I will show you satin stitch, how to make the satin stitch on the leaves. In the flower petal, we made the satin stitch, it was the stitches were pointing towards the center. But when you when we work on the leaf, it has to take the shape of a leaf. So we do it slightly slanting. Planting stitches would look will give exactly the shape of a leaf. As you can see the slant satin gives the leaf the exact shape. You can continue with the next leaf. This can come in the opposite direction. So it shows the variation of the right and left.
we can continue in the other direction the next uh, leaf we can continue in the opposite direction. So, it will give the shape of the left and right leaves. The slant satin is very apt for a leaf. <laughs> 